am Kwan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot, part two. I'm just going to call this Eileen's Justice, because this woman has been poking and shaking and just rocking me all in my sleep, because she wants justice for her death, okay? They said I ran out of space, but I know I did not. Somebody's fucking with my uh, laptop, but that's fine. This is what came out. This woman, this is part two. If you're confused, watch part one. Watch the first one. This woman wants justice for the death spell that was done by her husband's sister, uh, who is a Taurus or Capricorn. Uh, and she worked with a practitioner in the CIA. One is an Aries, okay? And the other uh, is someone that's of Puerto Rican descent. They work with someone of Puerto Rican descent to do a death spell on this woman, okay? She said her name is Eileen. This is fucked up. This is really, really fucked up. All right. She still wanted to finish saying whatever it was she had to say, and I'm going to let her ass say it, too. Ma'am. Confirmation. Don't worry. Give me one second here. We're going to sort these cards and let you finish saying whatever will let you finally take your rest. Whatever will let you finally rest and stop poking on my body. <laughs> spiritual judgment. Somebody's under spiritual judgment. Somebody's under spiritual judgment. Heavy! Y'all give me one second. Child, I, if I could make this shit up, I would. Because I would make it a lot more interesting, but I can't make this shit up. I can't make it up. That's why you get to see the shit come out my hands in front of you. Because if you couldn't see my hands, if I didn't let y'all, if I didn't sit here when I do these cards and let y'all see my hands, y'all would think I was making this shit up. Y'all would honestly think I was making this shit up if y'all could not literally see my hands when I'm putting this stuff out here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Respite care. What's this? All right, I have respite care, and he or she got this person to work against you. Who, Holy Spirit? Who got somebody to work against somebody? This is the fucking truth. Oh, shit. The Ace of Swords is the absolute truth. Go ahead and clarify respite care and he or she got this person to work against you. Somebody, four of wands, that could be family or someone someone was married to, someone that was trying to hold on to somebody, got someone to work against you. So they got someone to work against whoever this woman is. Okay, and let's see. Can you please clarify for me who is, um, these are co-workers. This is your husband or wife. Okay. So, that sister to this person's husband, okay, the Taurus or Capricorn, I told you all, this is someone, a Hierophant energy that worked in education. This is someone in the Northwest state, okay? All right. Th this has to do with some people in a Southwest state and a Northwest state. Okay, so I feel like the sister got her brother to work against his wife, okay? But I'll clarify. Because they wanted to hold on to something that they were doing or something they invested in. They wanted to hold on to something they had or something or someone they had invested in. The NSA. 
I wonder was somebody uh, with a was somebody very instrumental to them in doing magic or something that they were trying to hold on to, and that's why they wanted to hold on to somebody. They got someone to work against her while she was in respite care. Okay, uh, clarify the Four of Wands further. The Four of Wands. Yeah, because they were they were monitoring and tracking everything that she did. Okay, uh, they were working with someone in the NSA of East Indian descent. This Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I believe heavily this is a Taurus or a Capricorn. So this is that Aquarius's sister. She is a Taurus or a Capricorn, and she uh, was working with someone in the NSA of East Indian descent. Okay. Uh, that was hacking all her information. All right. Talk about abusing resources. Okay. What were they trying to hold on to? They could have been trying to hold on to a younger high priestess, a Pisces. Is that correct, Holy Spirit? Were they trying to hold on? They were trying to hold on to a younger high priestess. This is a child or someone that's young, a page of wands. So I feel like this, I feel like this is that they were in despair about for some reason. Okay. So they were in despair. They were holding, they wanted to hold on to something that they could have been doing to uh, a younger person that could have been a high priestess, uh, that could have been a high priestess. This could be a high priestess uh, in their early um, stages or just a younger person that was a high priestess that they were in despair about. What were they holding on to uh, doing to this high priestess Holy Spirit? What were they what were they holding on to doing to this high priestess? They were taking some type of a risk. They were taking some type of a risk uh, that involved uh, whoever this high priest, this young high priestess Pisces energy is. They were taking some type of a risk doing something. OK, uh, the full card uh, can be someone that takes a, a chance doing something that could cause harm, damage. The, uh, the full card can be someone that's very careless, someone that jumps off a cliff with a bungee cord wrapped around their ankle. Uh, they're quick to take a chance and do something. Okay, and what specifically, Holy Spirit? Uh, Empress reversed. What were they doing to this high priestess, Holy Spirit? They wanted to hold on to doing what to this high priestess? What did they want to hold on to doing to this high priestess, Holy Spirit? I feel like they were causing some type of change or shift. Uh, somebody could have been trying to uh, put work into, I feel like, causing someone to have losses to work possibly. Possibly maybe put someone in some type of an, uh, a low vibrational energy, the Empress reverse. Maybe this high priestess had a baby or was pregnant or was going through some type of trials and tribulations. Might have been in a weekend. See, here's the thing. I asked what risk, what were they all holding on to doing to this high priestess? I'm asking, what is this they wanted to hold on to doing to this high priestess that uh, they convinced uh, this Aquarius energy to work against his wife to do the spell work to put her to rest? I'm wondering, were they possibly, uh, uh, did she find out about it? Did she find out about it and think it was wrong for them to gang up on a high priestess? Because these people were ganging up on a high priestess to do something. And maybe she spoke out against it. 
or had knowledge about it. And they decided it was time for her to die. Now, what we have here is pentacles, okay? I have the nine of cups in the reverse. Now, we know pentacles can represent employment, money, okay? It has to do with work, career, right? Now, we know cups have to do with emotions, right? And we know uh, wands and the strength card has to do with confidence. And right here, we have an empress reverse, which can indicate somebody either being pregnant or it can even be um, uh, a, a pregnant woman or an older woman uh, that is in the reverse with everything here. So I feel like somebody could have been working on a high priestess from the time they were younger, okay, to affect her confidence, to affect her emotions and keep her out of balance, to affect her finances, to keep her poor and out of work, to affect her career, so, to turn her into the Empress Reverse. I feel like somebody had been working on a high priestess since they were a child right up until they were a full-grown adult. Okay, this page of wands, somebody's been working on uh, a high priestess from when they were a page of wands all the way to when they became an Empress adult to keep them, to keep them at a loss uh, in their confidence in their emotions, and in their finances. And whoever this woman is, Eileen is the name I got, an Aquarius that passed away, that's reaching out to me from the grave, she was aware or had some awareness about what was being done to this high priestess. And she might have spoken out about it or mentioned or said something about it. She might have said something to it. She, she might have spoke out about it to an Aquarius. She might have spoke out about it to a, to a, 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 a hermit. This is a Virgo. She might have spoke out about it to a, a, a Virgo energy, an Aquarius energy, and a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. These three energies that keep coming out here. And somebody decided because she spoke out about whatever these people were doing that it was time uh, to, to play God in her life. So now, uh, like she's saying from beyond the grave, now it's time to uh, let the real God show up. Instead of playing God, I I'm going to show you God. That's what she's saying from the grave. From the grave, she's saying, oh, okay, y'all wanted to play God in my life because what happened is uh, I, I in the other reading, this... Aquarius energy worked against his wife because his sister, his sister was connected, uh, the Taurus slash Capricorn was connected to someone in the CIA and Aries and someone of Puerto Rican descent, spiritual practitioners that did death spells on her and caused her to get cancer and pass away. Because as I was saying, when you are already in a depressed state and you're sad about something and you're emotionally closed and emotionally shut down, you know, uh, because of, you know, whatever's going on in your relationship and your life, you have a whole bunch of rips and tears in your auric field, which is the electromagnetic field around your body. And when you're, when you're very sad and depressed and upset about things, and you have tears and rips in your orc field all around your body, if someone does spell work on you in a weakened state, then that spell work is going to land and hit and cause some type of a terminal illness that can take you out of here because you're not in your highest vibration. And this is what happened. These, th this this uh, low vibrational karmic family ganged up on her, did spell work, and took her ass up out of here. And now she gets to talk from beyond the grave to get her justice. She said, I will have my motherfucking justice in this life or the next. Go ahead. I got cut off. That's why I'm doing a part two because she wanted to finish talking and saying what she had to say. Now you go ahead and speak, ma'am. Finish whatever else you had to say. Is there anything else you wanted to add to this reading, ma'am? She lost the baby. They met up in secret. Maybe the high priestess lost the baby. Maybe in the back, the high priestess lost the baby in the past. Or maybe she lost the baby before. I don't know. Somebody lost the baby. 
but they lost the baby because someone was doing spell work and this was an opportunity. Okay. So that means somebody in some type of coven or organization, you know, uh, was asked to do something to cause someone to lose a baby and they met up in secret. Holy spirit. Yeah. We're going to talk about it. Who, who are we talking about here? Holy spirit. They met up in secret with this spiritual practitioner. Okay. And a platonic female friend. So a platonic female friend of either the Aquarius that passed or the high priestess that they were targeting. The high priestess that they were targeting, uh, they might have met up with one of their female friends and a practitioner possibly to uh, cause her to lose a baby in the past. Anybody else that was involved in this Holy Spirit? There goes that bitch. Whew, this lady is hot. Here go that Capricorn Taurus Virgo again. Here we go. Yeah. Your fr this, is, this is your friend. So there is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, okay? They, they, they could all be related to this high priestess they were targeting. Y'all know in every family there is a black sheep that uh, a lot of people will target to energy harvest from, especially if you have a demonic family that's involved in a coven or cult that has been sacrificing someone's energy uh, for the wealth of the rest of the family. So there was a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? And I feel like the Spirit's telling me whoever this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn is, they don't have any children. They never had any children. This is a sociopath that never had any children that, that literally gets sexual pleasure from other people's pain. Literally. That's what I'm hearing. This person gets literally sexually pleasured pleasure from other people's pain. They, and they were meeting up with friends of this high priestess that they were targeting and a spiritual practitioner. So they, so they were targeting a high priestess. This is your family doing this. And I feel like the person, this woman that passed away that this family targeted to take out, she was not connected to this family through blood. She was connected through marriage. And they took her ass right up out of here. And they're going to get karma for every fucking thing that they did. Karma for everything that they did. Now, uh, sweetheart. You get your chance to finally speak out from the grave and say what you needed to say, okay? Now, uh, who who is next in line to die in transition? We're going to get that out, and then we're going to bring this to a close. Confirmation. A Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini is what I'm opening out to, number one. And we start in there. A Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini is going to be next in line to die or transition. A Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini is going to be next in line to die or transition. There is, there's a, there is, oh shit. There's going to be an air sign. This could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. But there's going to be an air sign that's next in line to die. See, God don't never miss one. You don't get away with shit. The hell, you think we live on a 3D and it's just uh, humans here? God is everywhere. While you're doing that fucked up spell, God is right there. Ancestors of a high vibration and guides, ascended masters in the bloodline of the people you're doing this shit to that are spiritually protected, they, they sitting right there watching you. Like, you fool. You goddamn fool. How dare you touch my anointed? How dare you? Y'all want to... Y'all want to say anything else about who's next in line to die? This is somebody in my collective. I feel like somebody in my collective is going to be watching this. That might be a cross watcher. There's going to be a cross watcher that's going to watch this. This is you collective. Not everyone that watches this video. I don't want y'all to take this the wrong way. 
but there is there is a cross watcher specifically there is a cross watcher in my collective that's going to pass away it might be this aquarius gemini or libra okay and the high priestess if this resonates with you could also be you that this was done to somebody that might have spoken up on your behalf in your family could have passed away because they tried to speak up on your behalf because of what your family was doing to you these are friends with benefits only there's someone here of jamaican descent there's someone here of jamaican descent and also someone on your dad's side of the family okay all right so with that holy spirit i'm gonna shut this reading down is there anything else Holy Spirit, is there anything else that you want to say before I close this out? See, everything always comes full circle. You don't get away with shit. You, somebody is about to get karma for something that happened in 2020. Somebody is about to get karma for something that happened in 2020. This is Sagittarius energy right here. But balance is getting ready to be restored for somebody. Okay? Balance is about to be restored. Somebody's all in... Somebody's all in their head, you know, trying to devise a plan because they know somebody, things are about to come back into balance for something that uh, a queen of wands could have done and something that a queen of swords could have done that they did not get away with. I can't make this shit up. Out here trying to win at all costs. The hell makes you think, only a demon could sit up here and think that, and be slow enough to think that they're getting away with doing something because nobody sees them with the naked eyes. Stupid ass. Yes, so there's a fire sign that's getting ready to get karma of, along with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Because look, the whole message here is y'all didn't get away with it. Y'all didn't get away with it. You took this action, okay, a few years ago uh, to win at all costs with the Five of Swords, but you didn't get away with it. God saw. God saw everything that you guys did. And now balance is getting ready to be restored. So somebody is in their head now and worried. They're wondering, should they travel? Somebody's even thinking about traveling. Sweetheart, whoever you are, whoever y'all are that did this to this woman, this earth angel woman, there ain't a plane you can get on, a boat you can ride, a canoe you can, a train, a boat, a plane, a walk, a caravan, a camel, I don't give a fuck where you go up low. You can go in a submarine. You can go on a rocket ship to the moon. It don't, it don't fucking matter. You can't hide from God when it is your time. And God said, it's time to pay up. I'm going to cash that check your ass wrote back in 2020. And now I'm going to cash it for you. You wrote that check. Now I'm going to cash it for you. You thought because I didn't cash that check right then and there, you got away with it. No, I wanted to let you finish building this shit up because when I bring down my mighty hand of justice, I want to make sure that you feel it. I am Kuan Yin and I'm speaking for justice on behalf of someone that reached out to me from beyond the grave. Yes. And this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. Y'all have a blessed Saturday. Yes, I'm a medium too. <laughs>